Hello, survivors of the nuclear apocalypse. Desert Rangers and Guardians of the Law. Fighters for Justice, welcome back to Wasteland 3 and playing hardball. So we will just go to this underground bunker. And we'll see what that's, what's that about, uh, because it's close by. <coughs> yeah, because it's just close by and uh, after that we'll do the family. City celebrates as refugees slow to a trickle. Actually, well, maybe we should actually do the other things first, because this one is level 11. Uh, and we have level 12. Well, yeah, we should be fine. So, by the way, can we now do this one? No one's allowed in there. Oh, yeah. Good day. Goodbye. All right, understood. We've never, we never ca uh, came close to this door before. What is, what's going on? So, let's go there. Angela Death. Let's see what's that about. We all feel safer with you rangers around. That's nice to you, ma'am. More guards, looks like. Ah, what, did, what did they say? There was some kind of uh, secret, uh, a secret entrance by the statue or something. Flag reads as leaders of the hundred families took a look on. Isaiah Buchanan passes the flag of the United States of America to his son, the future patriarch of Colorado, Saul Buchanan, calling upon him to protect and glorify to the end of his days. Now that we know that what to look for, we can see that the plaque is actually a cleverly concealed hatch. There's a tiny pin hole near, near the top left of the plaque. Stick something in the pin hole. Oh, interesting. The hatch rises, revealing a vertical shaft and ladder leading down. Climb down the ladder. Okay. That is neat. For oh, the old survivalist bunker, okay. Oh, there's something here. Sign. These luxury accommodations were custom built by the Prudent Planning Company. Prepare for your future today. Okay. Greed, hydro crew. I still think it needs some work. We're badass mercenaries. We're stationed in the hydroponics bay. What about this name doesn't fit? Hey. I want a cool mercenary group name just as much as everybody else, but it should be the right one. As long as we agree, Mole Mercs is off the table. Well, yes, obviously. It's got a spiked collar. Well then. With that food, the dissected remains of cabbage, kale, kale and potato plants rest in hydroponic trays. This is what happens when you forget to water your plants for a century or so. Oh well. And this one machinery manufacture date 1997. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. 
These are some serious electrical generators from the bygone age. Looks like they've been offline for decades. Okay, well, the stuff has not been maintained properly. A long time ago, this tank held water for thirsty plants. Well, why don't they maintain it? That's not very smart. Okay, I guess we have to talk to these guys. We opened a secret door on a big statue. Why is there another way? Okay, smart asses. How do you find <laughs> that door? Wait a minute. Aren't those the desert rangers? Holy heat, you're right. Gotta say, as one professional to another, you've really hit the ground running. We've all been impressed with your work here in Colorado. So as one professional to another, what's it gonna cost for you to sit this one out? Well, it ain't gonna be cheap. The Patriarch has deep pockets. No. Yeah. Counter offer. One bullet for each of you. Immediate delivery. That's a really compelling point. Okay, everyone. Weapons down. You dessert rangers really take the cake. Well then, so we got 10,063. 10,063 XP. So, I mean, obviously, uh, being law enforcers. Oh, we didn't get anything with the skill checks. Why not? Why not? We are we are asking the questions here. Where's Ironclad Cordite? Aren't those the Desert Rangers? Holy heat! You're right. Gotta say, as one professional to another, you've really hit the ground running. We've all been impressed with your work here in Colorado. You don't say. Thanks. Good to hear. You're welcome. Real shame we gotta kill you now, but hey, the job's the job, right? <laughs> Oh well, now they have the initiative. Oh my God! Oh well, and they ran to the explosive. Time for talk is over. Yeah, this way we can shoot as well. So then we just throw it like so.
Oh, this hits mouse. Together we are unstoppable. Together we are unstoppable. Alright. Cyclops. You shoot this mercenary gunslinger laser pistol. Oh, and this guy. Oh, he's a sniper, so let's take out that one. He's got 11. Ah, and actually, let's rather shoot them. The laser rifle. Oh, that is like an extremely efficient shot. We can shoot all four. Very nice. Double, triple kill. Oh my goodness. Very good. Shaolin surprise. Okay. Getting into cover. Corn. It's already messed up pretty nastily. Shooting. Kill okay, here. Get out of there. Cyclops. You're Reserve a for next turn. What can be demoralized? Very good. Okay, so 
Yeah, roughly 200 experience points. What do they have? Some stuff. Oh, a punk buster, auto shotgun. Old handkerchief. Not in a teenage scrawl, Dad. I'm glad we finally talked. I haven't been myself since mom and sis went missing, and I guess neither have you. At least now we have each other, right? See you when I get back. Ah. Army machine gun with the bad ammo requirements. Well, okay then. So we can see. Or shrink ray. The revolutionary tech behind this device could have had thousands of practical applications, but the most obvious one was to weaponize it. Yeah, that's how humans are, right? So everything is offline for decades. somewhere under Broadmoor. Could this be? Also unknown possession of the human form, 1945 marble and brass. These guys surely... Oh, what's that? A saw dog. Oh, that's really like the big version. Missionary gunslinger. Ah, uh, well, now I know why it's level 11. Let's patch up. Thanks, dude. That'll do nicely. Thanks. New crew on the Patriarch's payroll. Desert. Oh, there's a cyborg, a cyborg chicken. Um, okay, they don't have anything to do. Actually, now would be good to uh, surprise them with a shot with the RPG, right? Where is it? 
。对啊。Might even invest invest something. Now that we are fighting against a robot. Gun. And actually, we'll use an EMP grenade against these things. Well, and a shrink grenade could also be useful. Didn't we have shrink grenades, uh, like uh, EMP grenades? I thought so. It's just the cryo thing. Oh, there. Ah, uh, it requires four nerd stuff, okay. to inflict shock on anyone in the affected area dealing minus 10 constitution damage and minus 2 AP for one turn. Robots also have a 50% chance to become glitched causing them to attack allies for three turns. That's actually very nice. Ah, but this thing will uh, slice us so we need a secure kit. So let's get up here. There are worse places to ride out an apocalypse. That's prison pretty decent bunker. Shelves are stuffed with hundreds of ancient books on survival, economics, religion, leadership, and public relations. The bottom shelves label planning for a post-civilized world. Post-civilized, especially now.
Okay. And Cyclops should be there. I guess this will take a while with these guys are coming back but actually it's uh, it's actually pretty okay so let's shoot two. Oh, he was destroyed very nice very nice indeed so then i guess we don't need to waste uh, or use our last remaining Very good. No, it's just a normal attack on this guy then. Maybe Mouse will be able to do the rest. Though I have certain doubts.
Scobea. Reserve one. X can also rather reserve one. Ground. Oh, the provost misses. Okay, good enough. The body armor. Very good. point Actually, it's better to destroy their armor. This guy's armor especially.
we get out of the line of fire. that thing come from Okay, that, uh, that will not work. So, what to do here? Oh no. <laughs> I know, no, everything is fine. Provost, I thought I had just killed the Provost or something, but we are fine. Go to chicken. The one chicken actually. That has a chicken and uh, the uh, parrot. surprise there we go and that thing is
very good. Another burnt book. Industrial saw blade. Okay then. So. Let's loot the stuff. Something peculiar about that chicken. Mouse. What a splendid little chicken. It has magnificent feathers, impressive lacing and a beak structure like something out of a children's book. The bird studies us with a calm, intelligent eye. Cluck, cluck, even it's clucking as well. Enunciated. Wait, did you actually speak? It almost certainly clucked. <laughs> Come with us. Bounces closer, the feathers along its throat tufted. Surprise evidence in its expression. After a moment it nods to itself and begins waddling in stately pursuit. There's something here. Letter from Aunt Ellen. This letter is written in elegant flowing cursive script on heavy cream colored paper. It's addressed to Saul Buchanan. The date is almost 50 years ago. But the patriarch was a young man. Okay. read it. Ah, it's long. My dearest nephew, thank you for honoring an old woman's final wish. I'm sure the doctors kicked up quite a fuss, but not even those old buzzards would dare say no to you. I'm sure it must be hard for you to understand why I would want to return here of all places as my life draws too close. By the way, what's her initials? Ellen? Okay, was it EB on the grave in the park? I don't remember. Um, <coughs> your generation tends to think of bunkers. We called them shelters in my day as little more than elaborate crypts. But for me and many others, this place was a refuge, an island of hope in the middle of a vast and terrible storm. Your grandfather Abraham spent a fortune building this shelter in the 90s. It earned him no small amount of ridicule at the time. My brother was not the sort of man who concerned himself with the opinions of others. And when that awful day came, we were ready, when so many others were not. The first few months were the hardest. It was difficult to accept that the world we'd known was gone. Abraham had invited the families of several close friends to join us, so privacy and personal space were hard to come by. But the desperate pleas of those on the other side of the hedge were the worst. They haunt me to this day. But as the months passed into years, this shelter became our new world. We learned to laugh again. I fell in love with a boy and Abraham married us on Christmas Eve. I taught the children of the other families and we planned for the future. I'm the only one left now who remembers those days. When I'm gone, you may well be tempted to seal this place up and leave it behind. I pray you won't, because this is your history as much, much as it is mine. Whatever you are, whatever you may become, it began here. You are destined for great things, Saul, I'm sure of it. Just don't forget where you came from and the sacrifices others made so you could be where you are today. Your loving aunt, Ellen Buchanan. Okay. Helen Buchanan Underground 2001, Oil on Canvas. Abstract artwork, title unknown, artist unknown, purchased by A. Buchanan for 5 million. Mm -hmm. So it's a face over here. Ooh, there's a toaster. Never seen the bunkers where my ancestors wrote out the bombs. I doubt they were as nice as this. Toaster repair. 
very nice. Oh, we got another tie-in token. Very good. These cabinets contain a vast itemized collection of plastic cassettes for an unknown video format. Too bad nobody can play them anymore. Quite a big bunker, huh? Let's go here first. There's an electrical room when they have an interesting generator. Ice hopper, giant toads. No, oh, what's that stick? Crack grenade. By the way. years ago this might have been the main power generator for the whole bunker now it's a rusted wreck looks like a replacement unit that wasn't designed for the space someone crammed it in anyway okay some stuff Water locked and sour smelling. These provisions are essentially beyond their cell date. Spiny hopper. Some kind of spiny. Uh, spiny tongue. Oh, that's another. Some, another one. The glow hopper. Sparkling fuse box. Well, okay, that's very interesting. That is very interesting indeed. But how things will develop further, my dear Desert Rangers, we will see in the next episode. So I hope you appreciate, uh, or you like this one, and I appreciate your like up, uh, your like. See you next time. Bye bye.